All right, so we didn't upload anything Saturday. Saturday was different. But let me know a little more effort and see what happens Sunday. In this video, we talk about exactly what you need to know in Hamalaga series, in chemistry, in CXC. Yay! The first thing you need to know is the definition of homologous series. Memorize this right now. A group of organ. You know, before I start this video, with my people, but let's speak. All right, this one. Good. I have a concept, a philosophy, if you want to call it that. The name of this philosophy is "Do It Now." So, like, anytime I'm thinking of something and I think maybe I'll just do that later, no, nope. this concept comes into play and I do it now. Please apply this concept to all of your studying. If you see something that you need to memorize, like a definition, a table, a diagram in chemistry, don't say you'll do it later. Do it now, immediately. You do this all the time. Cut it out. Do it now. All right, so homologous series, a group of organic compounds all possessing the same functional group. So the two keywords are functional group and can be represented by the same general formula. Two keywords, let that be in your definition. Must have the same functional group, can be represented by the same general formula. Collect your two marks. Next thing you need to learn for homologous series, the prefixes, this is the start of everything. Methane, ethane, ethene, ethanol, propanol, propanoic acid. This is the start. So met, et, prop, but. Pent and hex. For some reason, students mix up prop, but, prop, but. Mix it up all the time. I used to mix it up and all. Serious thing. All right, so prop. This is how I stopped mixing it up. I saw a plane in Piaco. Propeller had three propellers. Zoop, 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 zoop. See those three propellers? One, two, three, spinning. One, two, three, bam, prop. So don't forget that again. So prop is the one you use to get the propellers. Oh yeah, anytime something is giving me a problem to memorize, I think of the most wackiest thing that involves the most amount of senses and I apply it to that thing and um, I just remember that. Yeah, so everything on this table, learn. These are the names of the four main homologous series you gotta get for CXC. Four main uh, series. Yeah. Four main hum this feeling kind of off balance, so let me put a little arrow here. Yeah, now it's feeling balanced. Alright, so the four main homologous series, alkane, alkene, alcohol, alkanoic acid. General formula, CNH2N plus 2, CNH2N, so if we drop off the 2 when we go to alkene, that's because double bond and it comes up, boop, so we lost 2 hydrogen. And alcohol, CNH2N plus 1, the last two are CNH2N plus 1. But the trick with this one in the alkanoic acid is that the carbon, is a part of the functional group as opposed to the alcohol which is just O8. So we have C, we are in the next O, OH. C double bond O O. C double bond O O H. O H C double bonds and single bonds. Alright, let's look at some examples. So we have propane. Functional group is the presence of exclusively single bonds. And if you take a look at the formula, C3H8. Remember, C N H two N plus two is the general formula. So N was three. Three by two is six plus two is eight. Correct. We have propene. Remember the two H's that were here? In the propane, we lost them. We lost them because the double bond was like later fellas and it joined up here. So we lost two hydrogen and now that's why the general formula of Alkenes are CNH2N. So there's just twice the amount of hydrogens as there are carbon, C386. And we have propanol. So it's like if we stuck in an O right here and all of a sudden it turned into alcohol. Remember, OH is the functional group of alcohol, the hydroxyl group. We have twice the number of hydrogens plus one, so three times two is six plus one each. And then we have an OH added on to the end. Yeah. And we have propanoic acid. Now check this thing with acids. Eh? When you're writing the formula, 
although like all right say we in proper noic acid has three carbons right when you write any formula write one less right two why because one of the carbon getting used up with the functional group COOH so it is C2 and to get how many hydrogens you need to multiply this number by 2 2n and add 1 so 2 by 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 and then you train your little COOH propanoic acid all these examples have three carbons in them and the functional group separate before we go to the next video which is about isomers this is a nice topic we'll go through how we name isomers and stuff like that try these questions before you go to that next video what are organic compounds why does carbon have ability to form so many compounds define catenation homologous series functional group molecular formula draw the foliage draw the fully displayed structural formula butanol write the general formula for the four main homologous series and name this compound shown here the questions are easy, don't put it off. Uh, where are my people? Where are these people?